Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And I'm in my craft room today. I have been working on some Christmas projects and wrapping Christmas presents. And so I have all my Christmas things out here all over the table there. And I just thought I would take a little bit of a break and create this video for you guys. I recently have been doing some videos on my channel where I've been building page kits. And in one of those videos, I think it was um, the third video, it was page kit number one plus storage bins. In that video, I mentioned something about this embellishment cart and then forgot to share the picture or video with you. And uh, so I thought maybe it might be fun to share this with you guys and just talk a little bit about organizing and storing embellishments. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. And it's partly because embellishment comes in all different shapes and sizes and it makes it a little bit difficult to figure out the best way to store them. <laughs> also, you usually have a lot of it. And so it can be a little bit of a challenge to have it organized so that you know exactly where to go to find your embellishments when you're working on a layout. Okay, so in addition to this cart, I do keep embellishments in my craft room in different places. And one of the places that I have embellishments is right behind my workspace. I have some deflecto drawer units, they're acrylic. And in those deflecto drawer units, I have some embellishments by color. And you can see here on top of these Alex drawer units, I have those little drawers over there and I have 12 of them. And then right next to that is my enamel dots by color. Okay, so that's kind of the color area over there. <laughs> so I find when I'm working on a layout, sometimes I need to find something by color. I can quickly just turn around behind me and go through the things that are there. Okay, so another place that I have embellishment stored in my room, I'm going to swing over here to this side of my room. I have these Calyx units over here where I have a lot of my paper and embellishment stored by manufacturer. And up here in this uh, blue bin, which is from Target, it's the Room Essentials Y Weave Basket. It's a medium size. I have some embellishment by collection, things like Jen Hadfield and Paige Evans and things like that. And above that, in that clear bin up there, this one right here, which came from the container store, that one has uh, Maggie Holmes. Okay, in addition to having embellishments there, I also have some embellishments in these drawers down here. This one right here is Creative Memories because this is my Creative Memories paper right here. And then this drawer right here has, um, I, I can't remember, but it's got some embellishments there as well that goes with the paper that's right here. I think it has Close to My Heart. There's also the Hip Kit Club. Just some different things here that I have that are bulkier, I put in the drawer here. So it kind of just keeps them together in the same place. Okay, so for all the rest of it, I guess I should also mention over here, I have some more Calyx units down there at the other end of the room. And I have some bins over there where I have some embellishments stored by theme, like birthday, baby, pets, travel. And uh, those I don't have to have close to me because if I'm working on a layout that is travel, I can just go over there and grab that whole bin, bring it back to my workspace and work with it. I don't really need to have it close to hand all the time. Okay, so let's talk about the cart. This is the Hudson cart from Michaels. And I believe it only comes in two colors and that is white and black. And because my room is mainly uh, white and teal, as you look around, you'll see that most of my storage, my furniture is all white or teal. And I did that because it does actually uh, make the room look less cluttered if you try to keep all of your furniture and storage items the same color. And that way um, it's not competing with all of the craft supplies that you have. Because uh, when you have a lot of crafty supplies around, it can get a little bit busy and cluttered looking in your craft room. <laughs> so I think keeping your storage uh, to one or two colors does help quite a bit. Okay, so um, inside this storage cart, I have a bunch of different bins and baskets. And one of the things I really love about this Hudson cart is that the size of each one of these uh, bins, or I don't know what you call those, the different levels, fits these different storage items that I have almost perfectly. So let's go ahead and start with this top shelf here. And so on the top level, I have this bin right here. This is a Y weave basket 
from Room Essentials. This comes from Target, and this is the small size. And you can see there's a little bit of extra space there, but for the most part, it fits really well into this uh, top level. And then next to that, I have a Totally Tiffany Stadium. It's got three different levels, and there's these different little dividers. You can actually move these around and change the size of all of the different compartments here to make it fit your things. And so that was one of the reasons why I went ahead and got this Totally Tiffany organizer because I wanted to be able to make that storage fit my items that I was going to be storing there. Okay, so in this bin here, I have different things that are mostly have words. So I have like labels and things that have words on them. And I'll just flip through here so you can kind of get an idea of what all I have in there. Let me move this over because I see a glare over there. <laughs> okay, so you can see I have all different wordy things and different stickers and embellishments that have words. And I have turned this little bin into a flip bin. I love flip bin storage because it's so easy to just flip through and see exactly what you have in your bin. And then at the back here, I have a bunch of these Dollar Tree stickers just because they fit better up here at the top. And I think as long as you have things kind of uh, organized in a way, you know, I know that the Dollar Tree stuff is back here and then all of this stuff right here is more word and label type items. Then when I'm looking for something like that, I know exactly where to go. And I also love that because these are in bins, if I wanted to, I could take this whole bin out and bring it to my work table and uh, be able to look through it there. Okay, so next to that is this Totally Tiffany Stadium. And here I have some Gina Marie Designs enamel dots. And if y'all are looking for enamel dots, you need to go and check out Gina Marie Designs. I'll put a link to her um, store in the description below. She has the most gorgeous enamel dots. And so I have quite a few of those there. And then back here I have things like, um, they're like acrylic overlays and washi strips. Um, just here's like a collage kit. It's just uh, wood veneer, all different things with different um, textures. Here is some cork. There's some acrylic pieces. So what I have back up in this area here is just all different things that have different textures. So if I want to add something different to my layout that has dimension, I might look back up or over here and, and look through those things. Then in this middle section here, I have some enamel dots from Echo Park. And then I just have some other little random bits and pieces. There's some rubber stickers there, some doodle pops and uh, different enamel shapes like hearts and stars and uh, just all kinds of, uh, you know, embellishments here. <laughs> I have tons and tons of enamel dots. I have quit buying those because I have, have so many of them. Also have some little wood uh, pieces there. And then here I have a bunch of photo corners in this little section here. And then back here I have some sticker books that came from Michael's. And so that's what I have on the top level. Now this is not completely organized yet. I'm still trying to work out my organization. And uh, right now this is kind of as far as I've gotten is to group things together and put them, you know, kind of together in the different areas. I haven't labeled anything or put dividers or done anything like that. And uh, just still working on this storage. So on the next level here, I have all of my sticker books and uh, it is a little bit difficult to see all the sticker books. But one of the things that's nice is if you put something on the end, you can turn the card around and you can look at it from this angle and I can still see everything that's there and I can flip through all of the different sticker books and I can still access them pretty easily. So in the middle of this second level, I have two bins. These are fabric bins. I believe I picked these up a long time ago at Tuesday mornings, but they fit perfectly in here. I like having the bins though because it gives structure and it divides the cart into sections. So I have, you know, a section over here where I don't really have a bin, but then I have this bin and I can um, look at all the things here and kind of flip through it. Now these are more dimensional things like rosettes and just three-dimensional stickers. It's going to be a little bit hard to film this, but I can actually see it a little bit better than I'm getting it into the camera. 
but I have uh, dimensional stickers, a chipboard, and just uh, things like that here. Now, the kinds of things that I put here are things that are not specific to a collection, a theme, or a season. Because I have, like, if you have Christmas or Thanksgiving um, or, like, uh, themes like travel, I have those stored in another place. This is more just generic things. In this one here, I have um, all of my bows here in the front. And then behind that, I have uh, some three-dimensional stickers that uh, are just all it's just it's not really organized and what I do when I'm working on a project is I just kind of flip through here to look and kind of see what I have and uh, so it's not super organized but I do kind of have some idea of what I have here and uh, so yeah so I just have a whole bunch of uh, stickers and three-dimensional embellishments and bows and then in the, this last one over here these are flowers so I, I kind of put all my flowers together and these are all just die cuts. They're three-dimensional stickers and uh, just all kinds of different floral embellishments. And then behind that, I have, uh, actually, these doilies could probably go over here. <laughs> okay, and then behind that, I have butterflies. So I have butterflies and dragonflies. So all of those kind of embellishments go here. So when I'm looking for something like that, I know exactly where that is in my cart. Okay, so what you see over here on the side, this little bin came from Ikea, and I used that as a trash bin. It's just hanging on the side of the cart, and uh, this is, uh, I think you can find this in the kitchen area at Ikea. Okay, so the last level down here is where I have tags, and you'll see here that I have four different bins. I have two of the small Y Weave Room Essential bins from Target, these two right here. And then these two over here came from the Dollar Tree. These are dollar bins from the Dollar Tree. And one of the things I really love about this bottom level is because I can fit four bins down there, I can easily just take this bin, this whole bin out and bring it to my workspace and work with it. I don't really have to look through things down here at the bottom because all of these bins can be removed. And so what I have here is, uh, in this bin is tags, and uh, I think all three of these bins here are tags. These are like homemade tags that I've made, and just, oh, this is tags, this is strips of paper. These are like store-bought tags. And then in this bin, this is one of my favorite bins, this is my puffy stickers. And so anytime I want a puffy sticker, I just come here and I can bring this right up to my work table and look through it and... Uh, yeah, it's awesome. And then when I'm done using these stickers, I can just put them right back there down at the bottom of this cart. Okay, so that's all I have for this embellishment cart for now. I'm still kind of working on my embellishment storage and trying to get it a little bit more organized, but I think I've made a good start. And if you're looking for a good way to have embellishments close at hand, having an embellishment cart is really awesome because you can also move it around to wherever you're working in your craft room. And so I keep my embellishment carts here at the end of my table, and then I sit right over here. And when I want to look through this embellishment cart, I can just swing it around. It easily rolls. I'll just turn it around and face it towards me while I'm working. And then when I'm not using it, it just goes right here up against this table um, in my room. Okay, so I do have a short video clip at the end of this video with my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell, if y'all want to stick around for that. And uh, that's all I have for this video. So y'all take care, have an awesome Merry Christmas, and we will see you next time. Bye now. Hi girls, what you doing? Are y'all being good? You look like you're all ready for Christmas with those little red bows in your hair. Uh-huh. Are you ready for Santa to come bring you lots of presents? You are? You want Santa Claus to come bring you lots of presents? Yeah? <laughs> Can you say hi to the YouTube people and tell them Merry Christmas? No! <laughs> you want your Christmas presents now? <laughs> have to wait until Christmas. I know. <laughs> You're going to have to be patient and wait. Mm -hmm. You have to wait till Santa Claus comes. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just going to be in a couple of days, so I think maybe how many more days? It'll be four more days. Yeah, and then Santa Claus will come. Mm -hmm. You can wait that long, right? <laughs> So you want to tell everybody Merry Christmas? Oh, that's nice. And what else you got to say? You got anything else to say? No? <laughs> okay. Well, at least you told them Merry Christmas. Did you want to say anything, Miss Bell? Do you want to tell everybody Merry Christmas? No? <laughs> okay. Y'all sure look pretty. You look very pretty today, Miss Pitha. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that you kept the bow in your hair. I can't believe it's been in there for like, how many days has it been? I don't know, almost a week, I think. Yeah. You had that bow for almost a whole week. <laughs> you don't like your bow? <laughs> I like your bow. I think it makes you look very special. Mm -hmm. How about you, Lily Bell? Do you like wearing the bow? <laughs> You're not sure? Okay. Okay, then. Y'all are being awfully quiet. So you want to tell everybody goodbye? Miss Bitta, do you want to say bye? <laughs> She's ignoring us and then looking over her shoulder to see if we're paying attention to the fact that she's ignoring us. <laughs> she's so funny. You're such a funny little dog. Are you going to talk to me? <laughs> okay, well, hope you guys have an awesome Christmas and a happy new year. And we'll hope we'll see you next time. Bye now.